Just set your heart to pitter-pattering. <laughs> Very distinctive sound for sure, and Superbugger has that sound with the engine still in the back. This is our Superbugger. <laughs> It's uh, on a 1968 VW Beetle, and uh, the conversion was in 1977, featured by Mechanics Illustrated. And actually, there's a Superbugger on the front of that June issue. So it is on an original Volkswagen chassis. It's got all the original running gear, engine, suspension, all that. But they, they literally cut it off right off at the windshield and took all the metal away and then uh, reinforced the floor pan. And then, and then built the kit on top. Kids, you know, think it's cool, but it's actually adults, I think, that have grown up with the Beetle and the Beetle phenomenon that are just like, wow, that's amazing. It's got two bucket seats, and then, of course, it's got the bench seats beside the table. So you have to sit at the table, actually, to use the stove. The stove's at the back. It's a little two-burner stove. You have to sit down in the seat at the table, and then you reach back to use the stove. Friends of ours had brought it up from Arizona and uh, he knew that I was a, a VW nut and so he brought it over and he actually allowed me to drive it in the parade that here in Rimby and it was just, you almost feel giddy, <laughs> like you just can't even help. Even now you get in it and you, you meet people and you wave and you just, you pretty much have a smile on your face the whole time you're driving it. If you can read lips, some of the things people say as you're driving by, we'd taken it to Red Deer for supper one night, and it's like swear words, but like, holy cow, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs>